Hello everyone. In previous videos of algebraic identities, we have already learned about different identities and factorization of algebraic expressions using these identities. Now we shall take up some application based questions where we need to identify which identity to use and solve accordingly. So let's start with the first question. Express the following as square of a binomial and evaluate for the given values. So the first question is 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square and the given values are x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 2. Now clearly this product is identity 1 that is a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to a plus b whole square. So further we shall write this product in the form of identity 1 where a is equal to 2x and b is equal to 3y. Now we shall write it as 2x whole square plus 2 into 2x into 3y plus 3y whole square. Now we will get the factors 2x plus 3y whole square. Now putting the values of x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 2 in this binomial we shall get 2 into minus 2 plus 3 into 2 whole square is equal to minus 4 plus 6 whole square is equal to 2 square is equal to 4. So 4 is our final answer. Now let's move to second question. It is given 4 upon 25 m square minus m n plus 25 upon 16 n square and values are m is equal to 5 and n is equal to 8. Now clearly this product is identity 2 that is a square minus 2ab plus b square is equal to a minus b whole square. Now further we shall write this product in the form of identity 2 where a is equal to 2 by 5m and b is equal to 5 by 4n. So we shall further write 2 upon 5m whole square minus 2 into 2 upon 5m into 5 upon 4n plus 5 upon 4n whole square. Now the factors we will get 2 upon 5m minus 5 upon 4n whole square. These are the factors. Now putting the values of m is equal to 5 and n is equal to 8 in the above binomial, we will get 2 upon 5 into 5 minus 5 upon 4 into 8 whole square, which is equal to 2 minus 10 whole square, which is equal to minus 8 whole square, which is equal to 64. So the 64 is our final answer. Now let's move to second question. It is given simplify the following. Let us take the first part. a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square. Now clearly the first bracket is identity 1 that is a plus b whole square and the second bracket a minus b whole square is identity 2. So we shall expand accordingly. We will get in bracket a square plus 2ab plus b square plus in bracket a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now we shall open the brackets and we will get a square plus 2ab plus b square plus a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now plus 2ab and minus 2ab will get cancelled. a square plus a square will become 2a square and b square plus b square will become 2b square. So we will get 2a square plus 2b square. Further 2 will be taken common and we will write 2 into in bracket a square plus b square. So this is our final answer. Now let's move to second part. It is given 3x plus 7y whole square minus 3x minus 7y whole square. Now if you observe this algebraic expression, it is identity 3. That is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now a over here is equal to 3x plus 7y and b is equal to 3x minus 7y. 
Now we shall substitute these values of A and B and we'll get the two products A plus B and A minus B as 3x plus 7y in bracket plus 3x minus 7y in bracket and closed by the big brackets. Then we'll take another big brackets and we'll write 3x plus 7y in one bracket minus 3x minus 7y in another bracket. So this is our actually a plus b and a minus b. Now we shall open the brackets 3x plus 7y plus 3x minus 7y in one bracket and 3x plus 7y minus 3x plus 7y in another bracket. Now 7y and minus 7y will get cancelled. 3x plus 3x will, we will get 6x. Now in another bracket 3x and minus 3x will get cancelled and 7y plus 7y is 14y. So now 6x into 14y is equal to 84xy. So 84xy is our final product. Now let's start with the third part. It is given 6a plus 5b plus 4c whole square minus 6a minus 5b minus 4c whole square. Now clearly it is identity 3 that is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now over here if you observe a is equal to 6a plus 5b plus 4c and b is equal to 6a minus 5b minus 4c. Now we shall substitute these values of a and b in our identity and we have to get the factors a plus b and a minus b. So we shall write accordingly. First let us take the big brackets and write down a plus b inside it. So we shall write 6a plus 5b plus 4c plus 6a minus 5b minus 4c. Now again another big, big bracket and we have to write the values of a minus b. So 6a plus 5b plus 4c in one bracket and minus 6a minus 5b minus 4c in another bracket. So these are the two factors a plus b and a minus b. Now we shall open the brackets. We will get 6a plus 5b plus 4c plus 6a minus 5b minus 4c. Now another bracket 6a plus 5b plus 4c. Now minus sign is there so all the signs will change inside the bracket. Minus 6a plus 5b plus 4c. This is our another bracket. So now if you observe in the first bracket 5b and minus 5b will get cancelled. 4c and minus 4c will get cancelled. We are left with 6a plus 6a that is 12a. Now we will move to next bracket. 6a and minus 6a gets cancelled. 5b plus 5b we can write 10b and 4c plus 4c is 8c. So finally we will write 12a in 2 in bracket 10b plus 8c. Further we will simplify. We will write 120ab plus 96ac. So this is our final answer. Now let us take up fourth part. It is given a square minus b square into a square plus b square minus a square minus b square whole square. Now let us concentrate on the first two brackets. If you observe clearly it is identity 3. These are the factors a plus b and a minus b whose product are a square minus b square. Now over here a is equal to a square and b is equal to b square. Now come to the second bracket. It is given a square minus b square whole square. It is identity 2. Now identity 2 is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now over here a is equal to a square, b is equal to b square. Now we shall expand both of these First one according to identity 3 and second one according to identity 2. So further we will write, we will open the big brackets and we will write whole square of a square minus whole square of b square minus, now again big bracket we will take and expand according to identity 2. We will get whole square of a square minus 
2 into a square into b square plus whole square of b square. Further, we will solve 2 into 2 is 4. So, we will write a raised to power 4 minus b raised to power 4 in one bracket minus in another bracket we shall write a raised to power 4 minus 2a square b square plus b raised to power 4. Now further we shall open these two brackets and we will get a raised to power 4 minus b raised to power 4. Now minus sign is there so all the terms will change their signs. So we will get minus a raised to power 4 plus 2a square b square minus b raised to power 4. Now minus b raised to power 4 and minus b raised to power 4 becomes minus 2b raised to power 4 and plus 2a square b square. Now we shall just interchange the terms so that positive terms comes in front. So 2a square b square minus 2b raised to power 4. Now 2b square can be taken common and we are left inside the bracket a square minus b square. Now, if you observe a square minus b square is our identity 3 and the factors are a plus b into a minus b. So, this we can further write as 2b square into a plus b into a minus b. So, this is our final simplified form. So, this is how in this video we have solved different type of questions related to different identities. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.